Hey guys, thank you for becoming my sponsors. That the first video made specially for you. And here is detailed instruction of Iron Man Repulsor. You won't believe, but development of Repulsor construction took me 3 months, but it's still the most simple part of all system. So now you can make it in just 30 minutes in a cave with a box of scraps. Take a metal cup, make there two slots for gas tube input and ignition wire. Cut the bottom of aluminum bank and fix it all together with insulating tape. Fasten it on a palm. That's it! Simplest repulsor is ready! Supply it with propane lighter and ignite it with spark of piezoelectric element to test. It works! Serial model that I use now has a similar principle but improved construction. My repulsor works as a pulse combustion chamber. It collects gas and detonates it. So the main idea is to accumulate energy and release it in a flash. Nikola Tesla used the same principle in all his oscillators, mechanical or electric. Accumulating energy and releasing it instantly. And the base of reactor is a metal cup. I use John's bumper cup plugged from a car suspension. Primarily because it's ideally suited for our purposes and also because you can find it in any neighbor car. All you need to do is to drill six holes in it. One is for hydrogen and oxygen tube, one is for map gas and four holes for hand bending. The base and all other parts can be changed with similar easy to find elements. As you can see, it's a obligate idea for all my gadgets. I'll never order the part to Turner if I can find the same one on the scrapyard. A repulsor nozzle is made of aluminum can. Drill 20mm hole in the bottom, cut the bottom off from the can. Remember that the strength of blast directly depends on repulsor volume, so you can experiment with the repulsor highness. Finally, I just wanted it to fit on my palm. Now the secret element of repulsor, aluminum perforated panel that's fixed between the base and the nozzle. This part holds up and makes gases before detonation. Cut and bend aluminum strip to fixed repulsor on the hand. Strip length depends on your palm size, I have 10 size of glove and my stripe is about uh, 20 cm. Hand brace fixed to the base with 4 screws. Simple model joined with insulating tape. Even so, Soviet duct tape withstands tens of blasts before melting. For serial models and federal orders I had to design more reliable bracing. Nozzle fixes to the base not to the edges but with internal construction. We need to cut two metal discs with six holes at the edges and one in the center. One metal disc mounted outside impresses the nozzle, second one mounted inside. Both discs strapped together with six screws. Finally, nozzle can be well fixed to the base with only one screw, so you can easily disassemble the repulsor for serving. Actually, there's no need to serve repulsor, only if your bright young padawans don't cram acetone cotton in it, just for enjoy watching how Iron Man transforms into human torch. Now you know construction of my repulsor and can make it yourself whatever you need it for. I plan to make the next video instruction about hydrogen reactor, but exact subject for the next video you will choose by yourself with voting form. Thank you for being interested, hope to make the next video in January after my mission in Northern Europe is over.